Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Apple Ethel Riado. Today I have some quick unboxing to do together with you from um, some of the new collection and then some are actually from classic collection. Um, there's Fendi item here and then inside this box is actually Louis Vuitton and I'm very excited about this piece. I think you will be surprised um, about this piece. Um, both are ready to wear pieces. This, from the, this is from the new collection, this is from the classic collection and I'm very excited about this one actually. Um, also, we have some other um, random unboxing here from um, Saint Laurent and uh, Dolce & Gabbana. So um, I think I'm gonna do this first. This is actually from a massive um, end of season summer sale. So I'm just doing this rapid unboxing real quick. This is from um, Veronica beard and uh, i'm not sure if you're aware of this brand but uh, i do like their cut and this is kind of scoop neck blazer and uh, i like the color so i'm gonna see if it fits but uh, so far i think the cut is good and then it's right in the autumn season for this piece so yeah i like this one we will see what's next this is the piece I got from Saint Laurent as their gold label. Um, this is nice little gold chain. And if you can see, um, there are these gold kind of tweed and beaded. Is this tweed? Okay, so there's the beaded, there's the tweed. I can touch and feel this is like metal material as opposed to fabric. Um, at the collar and it's a classic blazer I got a really great deal for this one it's like 90% off um, but uh, yeah I'm excited just not sure about the sizing though this is 34 so this is the uh, smallest size um, but this fit I'm not so sure Regardless, it's a great deal, so I cannot pass this by. And uh, do let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to try it on for you. And there's the little logo Saint Laurent here on the buttons. And uh, I think it just adds a little bit fun to this black blazer. And it's like right amount of glam and not too much and for those who have been watching my channel for a while you know i am kind of over the logo but can't say that too fast because there's a box over here where i said i'm gonna surprise you and surprise you myself so um but still like day to day back to office this is something I think it's perfect amount of little glam and a little bit unique and a little bit edgy and uh, a little bit more fun. So I'm excited to try this on. The last item from this little group, this is a um, blouse, short sleeve, embroiled it um, from Dolce Gabbana, as we all can see. There's the layered um, flower emboiled it green stems, leaves and then underneath is kind of the gray yeah I think it's the gray um, metallic it's all very 3D kind of it's not on the same uh, material and I'm been touching and feeling it, but uh, this is also on sale for like 90% off. And I just think it could be a little fun for me to wear it like dress. I'm probably gonna dress it down um, like with a jean or black short um, or red short, it could be really fun. So yeah, let me know what do you think about those three items. Um, but then I'm very excited about the others. Okay, so now I took this piece out. This is Louis Vuitton and let's unboxing it. 
By the way, this is a website where they do sell like um, pieces where normally the fashion fashion brand um, platform won't sell. For instance, um, Farfetch, Match Fashion, Nata Porte, they won't sell those um, brands like Dior or Vuitton, but uh, this um, site does sell those and uh, I'm very happy to get this piece actually. This was from a previous collection, but because of the logo, I think it's a classic rubber piece and uh, I kind of broke, broke my uh, promise, right, that I am over um, logo, but I uh, guess sometimes a girl could change her opinion when it comes down to the things she really like. So. This was from the previous um, collab between Louis Vuitton and then um, the Huntington, I believe. Um, at that time, it was all sold out, I think. And to be honest, it's oversized because this is the only small size available in 36. I would prefer 34, but that's it. And I really like, you know, those cute cats animals and then doggo um sorry i call them doggo i just love dogs and uh, look at this cat i mean they're all like different hidden inside the logo um look at this dog and uh, it's just so much fun and there's a little ladybug here and then this dog has his tongue sticking out i just love those animals so much and yep this is the piece i got and this is huge actually so i'm gonna have to think of how am i gonna wear this one and then the back um there's a white liner at the collar and the back is the same there are more cats um cat face cat 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 and then all lower and the dog face. I absolutely loving this piece. It's definitely not a day-to-day -day piece, um, but uh, sometimes, you know, um, it's just fun to add something where, also, the sorry about jumping topic, but look at the logo. It's also kind of cartoonized, if, if that's even a word, but I feel, um, if you can see, you know, like it's kind of, not the same font um, as the regular monogram, but it's cartoon out a little bit, and that's what I like about it. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very happy about this piece. Cannot wait to try this on. Um, it's going to be large, not gonna lie, but we're gonna make this work and see how I would style it. Um, do leave me a comment um down below let me know how do you think i should style this one and uh, what do you feel about this one i mean oh this is just so cute and i love the cat and dog on the collar cannot stop staring at it love it love it look at this dog face oh my god so cute but uh yep I also want to show you the button. It's very cute. It's actually, um, the feeling, it's like they're um, Epsom leather and uh, it also has the monogram cartoonized, using my word, on the button. It's just very cute, those little details. I mean, I'm not sure if you can see because the angle is weird, but uh, I absolutely love this one. It is loose, don't get me wrong, but I think with, um, you know, like a simple white or black tee inside and either a super mini dress or some kind of jeans and tuck it in or leave it just out, it's going to be super. I love this piece so much. And check this out. I don't know if you can see clearly from the video, but I love this Saint Laurent um, blazer. The fitting is kind of um, just straight and then very casual. Um, the color is the bomb. I mean, a little bit gold metal embroidered decoration makes this so much kind of unique and fun. 
and it's actually very comfortable to wear i might need to shorten the sleeve a little bit but i'm absolutely loving this piece what do you think the last item to unbox um the one i guess most excited it's a ready to wear piece this is the receipt so i'm not gonna bore you with that um this is by the way directly from um the website so let me take this out for you tricky with one hand as always so please bear with me okay let's see so this is the item with the ribbon tie here. And let's see. Okay. Some paper and it's a white jean. So this is from actually the new season and then has this kind of um Oh, that's very interesting, the texture here, the fabric here. It's kind of scuba feeling, you know, scuba material, but it's also a 3D feeling. Um, very, very low key. It's just a um, high rise, I believe, straight style white jean. And I'm excited about that. So now the most exciting part of the unboxing and uh, I will start with the uh, Dior piece first actually. So this piece, um, it's actually extremely hard to get from the latest Dior Alps collection, which is kind of the ski um, collection. And uh, I just, I, I got lucky and when I was in um, the boutique, they actually took, I was hunting for something else, but uh, it's fully sold out and uh, they just came back from the inventory room and asked me if I would like to have this piece. This is the last item they have in the store and they told me that um, they are surprised to see it's still there. Um, I haven't tried it on and uh, it's like, it's a X, um, it's, it's a size small and I was looking for extra S but uh, that's really the last item and I do think it would fit but let's just unboxing this together and I'm super curious to know what you think about this collection and what you think about this piece. I do think it's a practical piece and the reason I decided to get it is also it comes with this little cute pouch as you can see it's actually a pouch um, as a packaging and sorry, I took the box out um, so I don't bore you with the whole uh, tear up thing. But as you can see, this is the pouch. I hope you can feel it. It's kind of the scuba jersey material, very smooth. Um, it's a very small bag. As you can see, here's the size of my hand, um, but you can definitely put in um, your phone, like water bottle. I think it's great for like beach, simple hiking, or an iron actually. Um, so I didn't know it comes with the pouch and I absolutely think that's a, a, a relatively good value considering how expensive other ready to wear pieces are from Dior. And uh, yeah, so let's open it. And I do think this pouch is quite cute. Now I look at that right now. I'm trying to, you know, take this out for you. Sorry about the shaking of the video and the struggle. With one hand, it's always extremely hard. But, uh, yep, yeah, so here is the piece I got. And it is actually a long sleeve. Oh, I do like the button. I haven't looked at the detail in the store, to be honest. I just figured, okay, let me get it since it's like really hard to get. And I do think I can wear it um, as layer and go for a ski trip and all those. And here has the logo. It's a matte, matte black kind of material of um, zip. And then the... Uh, Dior oblique logo all over. Um, the color is, I believe this is navy, dark navy blue. Actually, it's black, I think. Black and navy color or navy. 
actually navy okay so this is dark navy because i just compared it with um the black sleepwear i'm wearing and this is dark navy color um the zip is not all over the zip is until here like um third third of a quarter um and yeah this is the uh, first piece and it's really like a kind of um scuba jersey print and because it's very elastic so they told me that it should just fit well and do let me know in the comment down below what do you think about this one and the back is just the same it says um christian dior on the back of the collar it's kind of um nice actually now i looked at it in more details and i'm happy i got it um yep it's just logo all over i'm just also absorbing but uh this cute little pouch is very practical actually i think because i could use it for a quick errand and uh, especially i'm thinking for you know hiking or running you just need small things inside and it could be very handy oops i forgot to show you the price as always so here is the price and then the item number if you like it um this is the price again this includes the little pouch and i just tried the length is actually perfect i do think this is a great purchase because i can see myself using this a lot when um hiking when skiing and uh just uh as a layer um and i think it's pretty flattering but do let me know in the comments down below how do you like this one do you think i made a good decision because <laughs> i normally i don't do like spontaneous um not planned shopping but sometimes it happens you know and again we only live once so hard earned the money but spend it wise and uh this is the back so yep that's that hello so this is another dior um unboxing we are continuing with it's also from the latest um alp collection the winter ski snowboarding collection and uh um, I feel I could use this one for like a lot of occasions and just get a lot of wear out of it and this is a super super popular piece actually and it's sold out immediately either like online or in all the boutiques so I was lucky just um, was able to find in a um, local boutique in my city and this is the receipt um, the same thing about um, the other unboxing I did is that this piece also comes with, I believe, a, a cute little pouch, I think. Let's see. So, yep, it is. Here is the cute little pouch. And the other um, piece of the top I showed you, it's actually navy color because, again, they ran out of any other size and they ran out of black immediately so the top i showed you is actually in navy color and then this piece is actually in black color which was my top choice because again it's just uh, i i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this and i absolutely love this versatile little handy um backpack again it's perfect for a little hiking a little just you know grab and go type of grocery errands run and i love this one so much um and again it's much more low-key when it's um black actually when i'm looking at the real back versus on my camera it's a lot more obvious on the camera in terms of um those oblique logo as well as the christian dior um brand name logo but actually it's extremely invisible um real person real bag i mean so this ticks my box i absolutely love something that's not too flashy um but yeah so this is the piece i got it's um it's in legging oblique legging with elastic kind of this is wool material i think um at the waist and has christian dior of course with the tag on and if you're interested oh, they don't have the um code but 
Yep, I got a size extra small. It's made in Italy. And this is the oblique legging. And I just feel it's going to be very flattering because of the way of the pattern. And it just makes your um, leg visibly, like visually more um, slimmer. And this is all we want, right? But yeah, this is the piece I got. So this piece, it's a big box and uh, can you guess what it is? This is the receipt and then let's do this. Is there a better way to uh, get rid of the ribbon? I'm not quite sure but uh, let's do this. And most you can see three little bags so we all know it's the shoes this is one of the pieces i really wanted and i do not find this on the u.s website i'm not sure if they're ready available in the store um i had to get it transferred but i really really love this piece and here it is. I will tell you why. Because A, it's all white. I feel everyone needs a pair of white sneakers. And the leather is so soft. When I tried it in the store, this is just so comfortable, like hugging your ankle. And the quality is absolutely top notch. And this little, um, very understated logo here with a um, brown or gold color, H engraved round shape circle shape logo is just so pretty and then the other beauty of this item is that there's an inner sole like a little bit i think just maybe one inch or less than that but that's good enough for a little bit you know invisible height increase which i really absolutely need and uh yeah it's the same one right but uh, I absolutely love this. This is really, really comfortable um, when I tried it on. And uh, this is the pair, like super comfy, classic. And then this is the bottom with the Hermes. I think it's made in Italy. Yeah, most of the shoes are made in Italy. And I really like a pair of nice white sneaker and the leather is just so soft and so nice. I do need to learn how to maintain those though because for my Alexandra McQueen um, sneaker, which is also white and leather, um, the leather is different. This is more like much softer and I feel um, could be more vulnerable, but uh, the other pair I just never maintain. So do let me know in the comment down below if you also own a pair of like white leather sneaker and uh, how do you maintain those? I would love to learn from you. And uh, this is how it looks on. I want to show you it's a little subtle logo, so soft. Like this piece, I can already feel you do not need to burn it in. I can't believe how soft this is at the ankle because I was a little bit nervous about the the height because it's like the high top um, sneaker but it's so just hugging my ankle and so soft this is how it looks a little bit platform plus the hidden insole this is just perfect white sneaker